Hey guys, we're gonna be continuing some fixturing fundamentals right here in the shop. And I just recently got back from Fabtech and you guys have asked me several questions on how would you fixture certain objects. I'm gonna give you my advice on how I do it. And we're gonna use this piece of bar and this flat bar right here as an example as a customer that came up to me at the trade show. He asked me how I would fixture welding this tab to the top of a tube like this this tab is gonna be located somewhere in this area from the end of the tube and then offset a certain distance. So it's kind of hanging out over the edge. Now currently in their current production, they're making a custom fixture that does this and it takes them about an hour, maybe two to build something to uh, weld this tab to this tube because they're welding hundreds of them at one time. And then when that job is done, they will either pitch that fixture and throw it away because that job will never come up again. And he asked me, can the fireball system help them with this problem of throwing away fixtures after a production run? My simple answer to him is, of course we can help you. He asked me, how long would it take you to set up a fixture to do this? And I gave him a quick demonstration on how to do it and should take us about a few minutes to set this up. Now I know what you're gonna say, Jason, I would just lay out where it's gonna go. I would make a mark on here just like this. I would scribe out where it's supposed to go. I would give myself an endo stop and then I would put my tab on here. I would drop my hood down and I would tack it. I understand you can do hundreds of them with just a simple speed square and a layout marker. But to be honest, I wanna go brain dead. I don't want any errors. I don't want any measurement errors. So setting up a fixture is the right way to do this. But I fully understand your concerns that everything can be done with a speed square and a marker. I get it guys. But a fixture table is just that much better. So here's how I would set up this weird scenario. I don't have any measurements, but we can randomly guess and I'd show you how to give ourselves options to adjust. First thing that I would do is I would locate this tube and I would use tools to start off with, like this is a fence block and I would locate it first. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room here at the edge of the table and I'm gonna lock this thing in place. Something like that, okay? So now I can't push backwards. The next thing I need to do is make an endo stop. Right, so I'm gonna use a fence block again Drop him in there like that, boom. Now I can bump him into this corner. Now this tube is located in the right spot. Now, we don't know where this tab goes because we don't have any drawings, of course, but we can speculate, okay? How would I set this tab up? How would I plan for moving this in and out? Well, I'm gonna use this block right here, which is adjustable, okay? So it has these teeth on the bottom, which I can set 16th of an inch increments if I want to get that precise. Drop this fixture in here, and as you can see, I can move this stop in and out whatever appropriate distance I want. Let's just call it here for now. <laughs> okay, great. We're gonna lock him down. Okay, so now he can't move. Now I can ram this tab into that stop and he's located that way. But how do we control where it's going on the length of the tube? Well, we can do the same thing. We can set this stop up with the block, just like this. Boom, there we go. I can move this forward or backwards. But you're gonna say, Jason, how do you reach that? <laughs> well, I want you to remember too, I wanna to be able to hold this tab and I wanna be able to run a weld right there and on the backside. I don't want anything blocking myself. So I'm gonna cheat, okay? I'm gonna make myself a little extension. This is a riser block, which is the same as this guy right here, okay? Has a peg on the back and I'm gonna put him right into this top hole. And you can tell it rotates, which can be a good thing and a bad thing, but I'm gonna lock him down permanently with these screws. It only takes a quick second with the screwdriver. They don't have to be excessively tight, just snug. Okay, so I'm loose and I can now jump this back and forth, make myself a little offset, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing with this little three inch riser. And what I plan on doing is putting him in the end. And what this is gonna give me is a square. Drop these guys in here like this. So I don't know how long we've been doing this, maybe two minutes now, and I'm almost done. I can run this fixture up and down, right? Basically, and I can move it wherever the dimension calls for. Let's just call it right there. I'm gonna lock this down in the back. Snug them up tight. So you're probably asking yourself, Jason, how stiff is this funky S-curve? What is this? It's kind of like a question mark. How sturdy is it? Pretty dang sturdy. How square is this face? Hate using the square. I don't know, pretty dang square to me. Looks pretty awesome, pretty rigid. It's in line with the grid, so we know we're not cockeyed this way. Now, 
have an endo stop this way. It's nice and square because this is all nice and square. Put him up against that stop. Look at that. Now, if this was a production run for me, I'd get myself like a fast clamp or something like this, something to hold it there. And we're basically done. And I would put another clamp, boom, on him like this. Now I'm gonna locate the tube so he doesn't get squirrely with this clamp. I like that. Everything's secured down pretty good. If you notice, I can weld right there with no obstructions. And it's probably hard for you to see, but I can weld right through here. I know I probably need a little more light, but I can definitely weld that and I can weld that. How cool is that? And then when I'm ready, boom, pull this out, pop this up. This pull part and whole assembly would slide out and my part would be done. And then everything's all hanging out there in the open. Time to do it again. Doom, 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 no layout. Clamp, how cool is that? A simple way to do this, you have a lot of adjustability. That was what, maybe three to five minutes. That's how we set up a real quick jig with the fireball system. So I'm here to help you guys do some planning. I'd love to help you guys more, do some simple fixturing ideas like this. And I hope you guys find this useful and I'll see you on the next fixturing fundamentals video.